To find the oxidation numbers for each element here in K2SO3, this is potassium sulfite, we'll use these rules here. First off, there's no negative or positive sign after K2SO3, so this is a neutral compound. All the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. When we look at potassium, that's in group one on the periodic table. Elements in group one will have a plus one oxidation number. So each of these potassium atoms, that's going to be plus one. Sulfur, we won't see that in our rules. It can have different oxidation numbers depending what it's bonded to. Let's just leave that alone for a second. Call it X. Oxygen, that's almost always going to be minus two. So each oxygen is minus two. So all of this has to add up to zero because it's a neutral compound. So we can just make an equation. We could say two times the positive one plus, we don't know the sulfur, plus three times minus two. All of that equals zero. So two plus X minus six, that equals zero. So we have X minus four equals zero. X has to equal four, a positive four. So the oxidation state on the sulfur in K2SO3, that's going to be a positive four. If we add all of these up, three times minus two, that's minus six plus four, that's minus two, plus two times one, that does give us zero. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for potassium sulfite. Thanks for watching.